This is the fourth generation of my evolutionary simulation. It consists of a closed environment with agents that I think of as something like little fishes in a primordial soup. The agents can process both plant food and meat to various degrees and can therefore become herbivores, carnivores or even omnivores. Plant food grows on the ground periodically and meat is distributed equally in small radius whenever an agent dies or is killed. Agents that are successful in staying alive and collecting food get to reproduce asexually and spawn two mutated copies of themselves. Sexual reproduction is also implemented, but for now it is only used to periodically combine successful agents in the entire simulation and add a child that is obtained by crossover and mutation of their genetic code. The agents can communicate with each other by emitting different colors, and they can also emit omnidirectional sound. All of these interactions are facilitated by a brain. The brain can be thought of as a recurrent neural network, but just for fun I made my own slightly different system and called it the Damped Weighted Recurrent and or Network. There are a total of 20 sensors that provide input to the brain. There are three eyes that all have a proximity sensor and a red, green and blue sensor for color. There is also a sound sensor, a smell sensor, a food sensor, a health sensor, two clock sensors, a hearing sensor and a blood sensor. The dynamics of the brain give nine outputs. These outputs control the direction that the agent will travel or turn, the amount of red, green and blue light that it is to emit, the spike length which controls how much damage it will do to others if it hits them, a boost sensor that makes it sprint but at the cost of food, and a sensor that makes the agent essentially shout. Finally there is something that I call a give actuator. When this actuator is activated, the agent will give up some of its health to nearby agents. This can lead to emergence of altruism. Leaving the simulation run for a few minutes usually results in very interesting behaviors. For example, carnivores tend to quickly figure out how to steer towards other agents and kill them. They also tend to evolve ways to detect their own kin, usually based on color, and do not hurt those agents by either retracting their spike or by turning away. The herbivores tend to evolve ways to avoid being eaten, for example by quickly steering away when they sense that something is running at them through their sound sensor. The carnivores tend to quickly form hunting packs because they have better chances of finishing off prey that way and all getting food together. Sometimes herbivores evolve camouflage techniques. For example, if all carnivores are red and the herbivores sense something red behind them or in front of them, they can temporarily turn red as well to avoid being eaten. Carnivores usually respond by coming up with different ways of telling themselves apart. The example that is played right now shows a stable population in which all carnivores happen to be red and the herbivores are yellow. You can notice that carnivores evolved a pretty good system for hunting yellow things, but rarely hurt each other. Similarly, you can see that some herbivores run quickly away when they sense a red thing around them. These two species lived in balance for about 20 minutes, but eventually the herbivores developed very good evasive maneuvers that the carnivores were just not able to adjust to quickly enough, and they all died out. This example shows what hunting packs can sometimes look like. Agents evolve to follow each other because this allows them to get more food from nearby kills. This then leads to these circles of death, as I like to call them. When a carnivore in one of these circles spots a herbivore nearby, it plunges towards it, bringing the entire army with it. The entire project is written in C++ and is completely open source. The source code and the more detailed description is available on the project site. I'll put a link in the description. Attached to this site at the bottom is also a Google group. I welcome any kind of discussion and ideas for future experiments.